how to find a deal or a bargain in Paris? The quick answer is you can't. Hi, this is Melindy from Paris Living. I hope that everyone is well. I haven't posted a video on YouTube for a while, and I thought that today I would talk about a question that comes up fairly often, and that is how to find a deal or a bargain in Paris. The quick answer is you can't. Uh, demand is very high. It has been for a long time and supply is low. So that puts upward pressure on prices. And there is just the basic sort of law of scarcity. Um, in Paris, there are no high rises, except for a few exceptions. So Paris is basically seven stories high, and we can't build sky rises to accommodate a few more thousand um, homeowners. That's, that's just not how Paris is. It's not like New York or London or Tokyo. So, uh, as far as getting a deal, there, there just, there, there aren't any, unfortunately. The only way that you can get something, uh, be below market rate, I would say, is a fixer-upper. A lot of people shy away from them, they don't want to do major work. They don't want to renovate, you know, at all. Um, maybe they're ready to, you know, paint, update a kitchen and a bathroom, but that's it. And I think that it makes a lot of sense to look at apartments that need work uh, because you will probably find that they are below market price for that, for the, for the area uh, per square meter. And the apartments that you see that are turnkey that have just been renovated have been renovated with materials that don't cost very much and then the apartment is sold for a premium and then in five years you'll have to be redoing the countertops etc so i think it makes sense to look at apartments that need work um those are the ones that hang out on the market a little bit longer but it's worth investing in it, especially in the long run. There are apart still apartments that need renovating in up and coming neighborhoods in the 18th, 19th, 20th, parts of the 17th, um, parts of the 15th. Um, the central uh, arrondissement of Paris, everything's already been renovated, so there's nothing left there. Um, but for uh, investors, for from a long-term perspective, there is huge, huge um, potential for growth. And then again, you also get to have the apartment to your own taste. I work with several English-speaking architects and designers who have contractors that they work with. It always goes well. I've never had a problem. Um, I've worked with these people for years, so I have a good network of people to refer and who are used to working with clients abroad. Um, and either they can sort of execute your vision or they can propose different layouts, um, different materials, different ideas, different inspiration boards, all kinds of things. Um, and it, it, in the end, uh, you make significant gains by renovating an apartment. So there is a new page on our website uh, that shows some before and afters of my clients' um, renovations, those who uh, chose to do so. And um, I will put a link below and you can check it out. And feel free to ask me any questions about renovating. Uh, for example, permits, you don't need any. It's not like New York. Um, there's actually very, very few constraints with renovating. It comes down to the common property of the building, so bearing walls, pipes, etc. Those things are, um, are gonna be tricky to deal with, but not impossible. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and I will see you soon. Take care, bye.